Good day everyone, my name is Olayiwola Olayinka. I'm here to teach you mathematics and our topic for today is rational and non rational numbers. This is our instructional objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to inscribe between rational and non rational number. You should be able to use trial and improvement method to calculate approximate values of square root. You should be able to find the approximate value of pi. Introduction We can write such as 8 1 over 5 0 0.211 4 4 over number 1 over 2 1 over 5 square root of 49 over 16 and 0 0.3 as exact fraction or ratio 8 over 1 9 over 2 1 over 5 21 over 1000 7 over 4 and 1 over 3 we call the number like this rational numbers numbers that cannot be written as a exact fraction are called non-rational numbers square root of 7 is an example of non-rational numbers square root of 7 equal to 2.6 4, 5, 7, 5, 1 to infinity. The decimal keep on extending without ending and, and without recurring. Pi is another complete non rational number. Pi equal to 3.141592 to the end, again and again, extending forever without repetition. We often use the fraction. 20 over 7 for the value of pi. However, 20 over 7 number is the only and approximate value of pi. Therefore, all recurring decimals are rational numbers. For example, write 3.17 as a rational number. Let n equal to 3.17. That is, n equal to 3.1717 till infinity. And now we can multiply both sides by 100. We have 100 times n equal to 3.17.7 I mean, Subtract so 1 from 2. 99n equal to 317.1717 minus 3.1717. Now, this is our result. 99n equal to 3. 314 therefore n equal to 314 over 99 because we have divided both sides by n thus 3.17 equal to 314 over 99 is a rational number now let's move on to square root some square root are rational are rational numbers for example 7 for example square root of 4 equal to 2 square root of 6.25 equal to 2.5 equal to 5 and the fraction is equal to 5 over 2 other square roots are non rational. The square root of 11 equal to 3.366624. Square root of 3.6 equal to 
it is impossible it is possible for to find the approximate value of non rational value square square root by using a trial and improvement method find the value of square root of 2 correct to sig two significant figure since two lies between the 1 and 4 square root of 2 lies between 1 and 2 try 1.5 integer 1.5 ratio 1.5 square equal to 2.25 so that one is too large try 1.4 your ratio 1.2 square equal to 1.96 that one is too large, too small. Thus, seven. Ah, nineteen. Okay, I'll be now. Be here. Summary. A rational number can be expressed as an exact fraction or ratio. For example, O number minus one, two, three, four. 5 and so on. Common fraction are 1 over 2, 3 over 4, 1 over 7, and terminating and recovering decimal 7.2, 3 .6, 0.7, 1.4, and so on are all rational numbers. The rational number cannot be expressed as an exact fraction or issue. For example, 5. Uh, square root of 5, square root of 12, and pi are non rational numbers. If you, are, if you want to submit your assignment, you want to reach us, you want to make an inquiry, or you want to ask questions, you can reach us on, on the Gmail on the Gmail account below, on the Gmail address below. The announcement at the first Please try and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. God bless you.